Yeah, I think the unusual thing about Steve Dilworth when I, when I first met him and what set him aside from a lot of other people in that time was this uh, almost unnerving sense of integrity in terms of his own work or art. He thought of himself as a maker and there was no shifting him from it. And the way he can find a piece of whalebone on a beach and turned it into the, the whalebone box I've got here is, is astonishing. This is an object that looks like a, a casket from the, the Viking or Norman era. You don't know what it is. People often ask where I got the whalebone from. I was told of this uh, large baleen whale that uh, was washed up. It was in the winter, it was all smashed up in the storms, which was good for me because it meant that I could pick up bits of bones that were strewn all over the place. Didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but it seemed such an opportunity to get hold of this material, which is not the thing you'd normally find in a street market in London. So though the object sits here in the room, it's not really part of it. A lot of his work seems to be on loan. It's out there, but it doesn't belong to the people who think they have it. <laughs>